TV, internet, mobile phone service, landline service. That quadruple bundling is a big part of European telecom giant Altice's formula for cable success across Europe. And to replicate success in the US, it's aiming to buy Cablevision for $10 billion. If the deal is approved, Altice would become one of the largest telecom players in the US. It already has 40 million customers across Europe, Scandinavia, and the Caribbean. And a deal with Cablevision would add 3.1 million US customers in the New York metropolitan area to its roster. If you do the math, works out to over $3,000 uh, per subscriber. It's a very affluent part of the US, and, and people there um, can contribute to um, to greater revenues, but the, the main thing at Altice really is the cost cutting, and they feel that they can um, they can manage this company in a more cost efficient manner. Cablevision was founded in 1973 by the Dolan family, which also owns the New York Knicks, New York Rangers, and Madison Square Garden. The man behind Altice is Patrick Drahi, the third richest man in France. This isn't his first attempt to stake ground in the U.S. Speaking of his successes, he told the Wall Street Journal earlier this year, my vision is to do the same in the U.S., but bigger. His idea is, is, to, is to improve customer service, both on internet speed, but also on the kind of the visibility on the deals that people are getting, and, and all of that makes for just a, a better customer experience. In May, the company announced plans to purchase U.S. cable company Suddenlink for $9 billion, a deal that has yet to receive regulatory approval. And it set its sights earlier this year on a $55 billion play for Time Warner Cable, but it was beaten out by Charter Communications.